Hey everyone, Nitesh this side. Hope you're doing well. So let's start with the question. So the question is validate stack sequence. Okay. So you have given two integer array. You have given push and a pop, each with distinct value. Okay. So there is no repeating value. You have to return true if this could have been the result of a sequence of push and pop operation on an initial empty stack. Okay. So you have given an like you will take a empty stack and you have to perform this push and pop operation after doing the operation if your stack become empty you have to return true if not then you have to return false okay so let's see let's see this course example so as you can see they push one then again they push second then they push third then they push four and also checking the pop also so as you can see four is coming so we will pop out this four after this we have a five but we in stack we have three so we'll insert five then we again pop out five and after this we pop three then two then one so in that case we return true okay let's see the constraint so this is 1000 and all the element of push are unique length will be same like pop dot length equal to push dot length and element in the pop is also equal to push uh, push element so basically they are just a uh, permutation so they are in in the random order so if it is one two three four five in the push then in pop they might be like four five three two one any combination okay so let's see let's see how we can approach this question okay so let's take this example so this question look like a simple implementation question so let's do it like this is given one two three four five so this is pushed okay when we have pop also so this is four five three two and a one okay let's take a stack let's take an empty stack okay so what we will do before inserting any new element in the stack we will check our current element if it is equal to pop element so what we will do we will take an index from here so we will start let's take i variable so what we will do first we will insert the element so from here we will start so we will insert it okay so when we have inserted now after inserted we need to check whether our pop is equal to stack dot peak so as you can see this is not equal to so we will not do anything we'll move further we will take this to again we'll check whether this is equal to our stack dot peak no this is not equal to so we'll move further we will insert this so this is our now stack dot cut top element so we will again compare this is not equal to we'll go further we insert it okay now we will compare whether current element of pop is equal to stack dot pick if it is equal to pop this element so we will remove this element now our current is pointing at here top is pointing at here and we'll do we'll move further and we'll check for other elements also so five we will check whether five is equal to three no it is not equal to so we'll move further so we'll increase this pointer now we'll insert it okay so after five we again compare this to five so as you can see this is equal to so we'll pop out okay now we'll move further our top is now three again we will check whether this is equal to yes this is equal to so we will pop it out we'll move further this is also equal to we will pop it and this one is also equal so we will pop it and after if our stack is empty what we have to return we return true okay so as you can see this case stack is empty let's take this example also so we have again this one two three four five push array and we have pop which is four three five one two okay so let's take an empty stack we'll take this element like we'll start from here and we'll also have a pointer at here so we will insert it okay and we'll check whether this is equal to four no this is not equal to so we'll move further we will check we will insert second we'll compare with the current element no this is not equal to so we'll move further we'll check for three and three is also not equal to this so we'll insert it now we come to four we'll insert four and we'll compare stack current element is equal to four yes this is equal to so we will pop this okay so now our current element become now okay and we'll move further so this top again is equal to pop current current element so we will again pop this and now our current top is pointing at here and this will 
So we'll again check for five. Five is equal to two. No, it is not equal to two. So we'll move further. We'll take this five and we'll insert this into our stack. So let's say this is like this. Now our current top is pointing at here. We'll check whether this is equal to five. Yes, this is equal to five. So we will pop this. Okay. After this, we move further and we compare whether one is equal to two. No, this is not equal to two. So we'll go further and we'll come out of the array. After this, we'll check if our stack is empty. So as you can see, in this case, stack is not empty. So we'll return false. If stack uh, why it is not empty because as you can see, one is popping first, but in the stack, the current element is second. So that's why we return false. Okay. So let's write the code for this. Okay. So what we need, we need a stack. Let's take our integer stack. Okay, we'll loop over the push array. And first step is to insert it into the stack. Okay. And we have to return if stack is empty. Okay, this is the first step. Now we'll take a pointer to the pop array also. So we'll take i equal to zero and we'll check while uh, stack dot current element basically peak is equal equal to popped current element. If it is equal to what you have to do, you have to pop this and you have to increment your pointer. And we also have to handle one thing also. Let's say you have popped the element and stack contain only single element and again you do stack dot peak. So it will give you null pointer exception. So we'll do stack should not be empty. Then we need to check. I think we have done with the code. So let's submit it. Let's see. So this is accepted. Let's submit it. So as you can see our code is submitted uh, the time complexity for this we are just doing iteration over a uh, one array so it's basically order of n because this is whenever we are going whenever stack is empty so this is uh, order of n and the space we take like in the question it's mentioned you have to use a uh, stack so you can say order of n space also hope you like it thank you for watching my video and also do join the telegram group if you have any doubt and any concern thank you